Here's how to replace hydraulic disc brakes on an e-bike. In this case, my disc brake system doesn't work anymore. The fluid has leaked out of it. So I've got a new hydraulic brake unit here that already has the fluid in it. So I won't have to put the fluid in. So all I gotta do is take those two bolts off and then remove the little clip that holds it onto the forks and then remove the lever from the handlebars here. So I use an Allen wrench to remove the little bolt that holds that clip on and then put it somewhere I'm not gonna lose it. The cable is wrapped in this cable wrap, so fortunately it is reusable. So you just un unwind it like this and then put it aside. And most e-bikes also have an electrical wire to the brakes that are act as a kill switch that turn off the motor when you hit the brakes. So if you have one of those, you wanna unplug that as well. Next, look at the new lever assembly. You can see this one separates into two pieces, which means I don't have to take the hand grip off or the computer off. I can just pop the back off and slide it out. That makes it a lot easier. I just turn the bolt counterclockwise and then I'm able to pull the, the back plate off like that. And then if I just rock it forward gently, I can convince it to come out from under the controller so I don't have to move any other parts on the bar. There is a bolt on the top and a bolt on the bottom down at the caliper. So you just need to use a wrench to take those out. The bottom one comes out, top one comes out. And then on this particular bike, there's enough room around the fork to thread it out and even get behind the headlight. You might have to remove some parts if your bike is built differently, but on this one, it came out real easy. And if you look at the new caliper, you can see it has a spacer in it. You wanna leave that in there in case you accidentally pull the lever and then it'll, you don't want it to jam the pads together. So leave that spacer in until the last possible minute. And then you're just gonna kind of string it through the same way that we pulled the old one out. Again, on this bike, it's an easy operation. On yours, you might have to remove a headlight bolt or do some other shenanigans, but this was really, well designed to make it easy to replace. And then put the bolts in loosely. You're going to tighten them later, but you wanna get them started. And you'll need to check with the fork manufacturer to find out just how tight they need to be torqued down. But putting them in loosely, you want it to be able to rock the caliper back and forth so that you can center it later on in the process. And then I bring it in from the front and kind of slide it on like that, get it under the controller, super easy. And then I bring up the bottom plate, put it back on and put the two bolts into it. And then you're going to want to make sure you set it at the appropriate up and down angle. So just make it match the other one, put it where it's going to be comfortable with your hands and then tighten it down. And remember to plug in the electrical cord as well for the kill switch. Should be the same as the previous connector. So you just make sure the two sides match in the right way and snap them together. Then reinstall the clamp on the fork that holds the cable in place. And then rewrap your cables with the cable organizer wrapper all the way up to the top. Just make sure you get everything back the way it was before. Good idea to take a picture before you do it so you know exactly how they were wrapped. Next, grab the brake lever and pull it and hold on to it. And while you're holding on to it, that centers the calipers over the disc. And while you're holding on to the brake lever, you just tighten up the bolts that hold the caliper on and then it should be centered. And just to be sure the brake isn't dragging, lift up the wheel and spin it and listen for any sounds of dragging. If it doesn't drag, then you're done. And if you have a lever adjustment screw like this one, then you'll want to adjust it. That moves the lever further forward or back when you pull it all the way. So just make that the way you like it, and then you're done.